Hey guys, it's Jacob with Above and Beyond Tech. Do you ever have pictures on your Android smartphone that you want to put onto a computer, but you don't want to have to email it to yourself? Do you ever want to take documents from a computer, put it on your phone, and take it to another computer? AKA use your phone as a thumb drive? Well, great news. Today, we're going to teach you how to look through your phone when it's plugged into a computer, and how to take pictures and documents out of it and put ones in as well. To remove the pictures off your Android smartphone and put them in your computer, start by taking your charging brick and charging cord and taking your charging cord out of the charging brick, taking this little USB side right out of the brick. Then take the little end and plug it in to your phone, just like usual. While you take the bigger USB end, this end right here, and plugging that right into the side of your computer or front of your computer. Right into the USB slot. After you've plugged your phone into your computer, put your finger on the speaker above your screen. Then drag your finger down the front of the screen to pull this menu down. Once you've pulled this menu down, See the third bar down that says USB charging? Press on the button on your phone that says USB charging. Tap here for more options. After I tap on that, I get these other options like file transfer, photo transfer, software installation, and MIDI. I'm going to ignore all of the other buttons besides file transfer. I'm going to press file transfer right there. Now I can actually look at the files on my phone on my computer. After you've plugged your phone into your computer and changed your phone from charging mode into file transfer mode, then go down to this file folder looking button called File Explorer on your taskbar or Type File Explorer into Cortana here in the bottom left-hand corner. Once you've opened File Explorer, then look over here on the left side. You should see a button called This PC. Go ahead and left-click once to open up this portion of the File Explorer. Here, you'll see the manufacturer's name of your phone. Like for me, I have a Samsung, so therefore I see Samsung right here. If you have an LG, you'll see LG. If you have a HTC, you'll see HTC. Go ahead and double click on that. Double click on phone. If you have an SD card in your phone, you'll have to double click on the SD card if your pictures are saving to your SD card. Give it a second to load. It's going to want to load everything. Your pictures are stored in what's called the DCIM. It stands for Digital Camera Imaging Management, or DCIM for short. So you'll go into the DCIM folder. From here, You'll click on your camera folder and wait for all the pictures to load. It goes from your older, oldest pictures first to your new pictures later on. Then all you have to do is right click a picture, press the copy button, take it over to your desktop or a folder that you want it in and just click paste. You can highlight all of your pictures at once, press that Press the copy button, take them over to the file you want, and click paste. So again, all you have to do is plug your phone in, change your phone from charging only to file transfer, then go down to the little file folder looking button at the bottom of your screen, click on this PC. Go through your phone till you get to the DCIM folder. And then camera. And you're right into all your pictures. What do you think? Do you feel pretty comfortable 
moving pictures around in your Android smartphone and putting maybe new pictures in as well? Let me know in a comment below. Also, let me know anything else you'd want to learn on your Android smartphone, your iPhone smartphone, your Mac computer, or your Windows computer. I'm making new videos for all four every Monday and Wednesday. So make sure to check us out on both YouTube and Facebook by looking up Above and Beyond Tech. Also, give us a like and subscribe there so that way you can stay tuned to these videos every Monday and Wednesday. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great day, have a great week, and bye.